Hey, 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 everybody. James here from Mortisk Media. And we're back again with some Unreal Engine content. And today's video is going to be a rather short one. Um, it's going to be showing you how to be able to migrate project files to another project. Now, this is really nifty with things like if you have the advanced locomotion system, how it says create project. However, it doesn't actually allow you to import it into a pre-existing project already. So what you would want to do is you would first want to click create and then create a project. And I already do have um, an, a clean version of this, um, but I will show you the process from start to finish. Um, so, okay, so now we have a project created. And as you can see, it just says advanced locomotion system. And we can just open this up. So the thing about this is that uh, when you're migrating files, you can do it a couple of ways. Uh, well, you can... Realistically, there's really only one way to do it, but that's proper. Um, you could, technically speaking, drag and drop files from the actual file browser. So while this loads here, I'll show you what I mean. Um, so if I go, let's say, to any project, I'm just going to reopen up Epic Games really quickly. So if I go to any project, let's say, go, I'll go to my uh, Fluid Ninja. All right, and if I click on Show in Folder, and then open up the folder here. So under Unreal Projects, I technically could go to the content, and I could take all of this, and I could, you know, copy it and put it in there through the File Explorer, but this is not recommended. Um, I have tried this, and it gave me so many problems. Sometimes it came out good, sometimes it was a... It was a garbage pit. We're just going to put it that way. Um, so we're going to do it this way, which is through Unreal Engine directly. So after you have your whatever project you have open, um, we're going to right click on the main folder or whatever you're looking for. So like if we wanted to, let's say, for example, we wanted to get a specific folder. We just wanted the environment materials. We could do the same thing. So what we're going to do, though, is click on the content for this specific instance. Um, so we're going to go right click and then click on Migrate. And then you can see here how it has all of the assets from that entire folder. Everything from start to finish, from the meshes to the animations to the blueprints, everything. So we're going to click OK. And now it's going to bring up the Unreal Engine file explorer type of thing. Now, this is the reason why you want to do it this way is it's just ultimately a lot cleaner. Uh, but we're going to go back to our Unreal Engine project. So if you didn't kind of see what I did there, I'll kind of do it again. Because um, I was talking rather than explaining, and I do apologize. So we're just going to click OK again. Now, it'll start you off on the Content Folder, Advanced Locomotion System. So just go back to Unreal Projects. Just click on that one. Um, and now, as you can see here, we have all of my projects. But I'm going to go ahead and open up the tutorial project that we were working on in the previous video. Now, if I go and click on the Content Folder, I will see all of my content from that folder, but I can also click on select folder. So we want to put this into our content browser. We don't want to put this anywhere else. And now I've done that, copied files, and we're successful. So I can go ahead and I can just close this. Bring up Epic Games again. Oh, all right, so it actually came up good this time. Sometimes a little slow and I am impatient. So. Um, so now if I go ahead and open up the tutorial project, give it a minute to load. Now one thing I also do want to say about migration is that you want to make sure that you're migrating f like full folders, not specific project assets. If you try to right click on a project asset and do it that way or drag and drop it from the content or from the file explorer, like through your Windows file explorer, not the Unreal Engine version. What's going to happen is that you're going to end up running into a lot of errors because the way it writes the code over from one to the other, it, it should just copy and paste and be direct. I have found some issues with it. Um, so just, you know, if there's one thing that you want to put in there, just make a quick folder for it and then just migrate that folder. And this way, everything that you actually want is then going to, you know, get brought over. But if we take a look now at the content folder for our tutorial project, we now have the Advanced Locomotion System V4 with audio, blueprints, character assets, data, environment, levels, and props. So, and like I said before, we could have easily just taken one of these and left all of the other ones out. 
Uh, but I just wanted to show you, you know, you can do everything as well. So you can do the same process where you're just right clicking, click on migrate, and then, you know, on this specific folder that you want, and you'll be able to drag it um, and then place them into the current folder that you're working on. So this is a really easy way to be able to migrate. Um, you can do this for any project that has the uh, create project instead of add to project button. So this means the Fluid Ninja VFX. Um, you can also use this for other things like the environment packs, um, like the uh, medieval game environment, which was free last month in uh, July, I believe. Um, so like these sort of things, whenever it says create project and you want specific things from that project, such as, you know, like you want a castle from it, or you want some effects from it, or you want some animations, you can take the pack specific to that, or the section specific to that pack, and then just import that into your main file. Um, so I hope this was helpful. It was just a quick short video on how to be able to do migrations. Um, in the next video, we're going to go over how to edit animations, um, and multiple different ways that you can do that. So I hope this was informative. Uh, stay tuned, and as always, stay animated.